Mm. Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I was just getting ready for the day and I thought why not do a video so we can chit chat as well. There's a lot of things that again I'm kind of debating about buying but I don't know if I should. So this is where I go reach out to my YouTube friends and let's just discuss how things are and if you should or shouldn't buy. I'm wanting to do a really detailed full face of skincare and makeup so I'm going to start off with my supplemage sample from Chanel. I have another eye cream coming next week and I'm really hoping I can find a really good eye cream. So I just using my finger and pat it. I'm also gonna go in with my stainless steel eye roller mechanism here where you sort of just pat your eyes but I love the way the stainless steel feels on my eyes Ooh, so good so what is new with everyone especially the people in the US have you been busy with the Nordstrom sale <laughs> I know that's all that everybody talks about that's all the videos but you know, we are living in a media, social platform kind of stage, so you'd expect that. Next up, I'm going to use the Day Glow Serum by this Korean brand. It has, let me see what it has. It has vitamin C, fuluric acid, hyaluronic acid. It's a serum, and since I have it, I'm just trying to use it up. So I spread that everywhere over my face. The next thing I'm going to go in is with my Origin Ginseng Cream. So again, th again this is one of the sample from the Ulta vacation vibe set which i think by the way is available again on the ulta website and if you shop at ulta by the way you would know but they have a members discount depending on the your tier you get more it's almost like the sephora sale so that is the serum and the cream that I've been using on my face. So if my face is any different, let me know because I don't know if I notice a difference. <laughs> so because my skin is really dry, I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Enriched ba Face Base as well. I'm going to use a Q-tip to get some. I just put a little bit everywhere my face is dry is because I have not been drinking water. It has a very fresh kind of citrusy smell to this cream, which I don't mind at all. It smells like almost like an orange peel on your face. It smells very good. So I've discovered a new product. It is the Beekman 1802. What is this? The Milk Primer with SPF 35. I got the sample of this one from the Ulta Vacation Vibe set. And I was like mm, goat milk kind of thing, but I tried it one day, actually this week, for a couple of times this week, and I really like it. So I'm just gonna pump some Well, now I was thinking about primer, I, I thought it would be a little bit more liquidy, but this one is not like liquid with liquid. It's more like of a sunscreen consistency. I feel like it does go on invisible, clear, but it leaves this really glowy 
sheen to the skin if you can see so this is the one with a layer of it on and this side doesn't have anything on it's just it just gives it more of life to me but it's still invisible it's still clear it's not a, there's no white cast to it So I've turned out I really enjoy this product. It has not irritated me. I tried the Laneige water bank serum and when I put it on, my I can feel like my face kind of itches. It made my skin itchy, so I had to take it off because it was just uncomfortable. I don't I don't think that a product should be making your face itchy. <laughs> So yeah, so I've been trying these other ones and I have not have any itchiness to any of the products. So, which is a good sign that I'm probably not having some sort of reaction to, me, to the products. I'm gonna do a very simple, easy makeup that I do every single day using some of my good old Chanel products. Not really old. This is the palette I'm gonna use today for bronzer, and blush i really like the blush in it it's this really bright pink so we're going to go ahead and apply a couple of layers of the tower 28 sunny days tinted sunscreen in the color 20 maholan my usual suspect as one would say I don't put a lot on, but I go in very thin layers and I'm going to use the Hourglass Concealer Brush. It blends really nicely, even for the rest of my face. I don't really have a particularly big face. So this is actually even fine for me if I want to do, use it for that foundation brush as well. As you know, there are going to be new Chanel limited edition sets for the summer. We've talked about this if you've also seen my previous video, but they're coming out with two sets. The getaway sets, it comes in a peachy kind of set or a green set. So uh, we talked about it and we went over the products. I know that I think I'm gearing towards more of the green set instead of the coral because there was just more products that I would probably use. And for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, there is a Prada lipstick clutch set. So as the name implies, it does come with a clutch and four of the Prada's matte lipstick. So both sets are relatively the same price. 178 and 190 and they both come with four products however the Prada set comes in this really you know fancy futuristic looking clutch that fits your iPhone 13 however it only comes with four lipstick the all matte formula and a lot of people say it's not like really matte matte like a uncomfortable matte and they actually liked it and the chanel comes with two lipstick now i'm going to go in with my Kofi concealer in ice ice berry and the same price and everything it's pretty much the same comparable in its in what it includes and the Chanel comes with two lipsticks and a eyeshadow and then also a nail polish. Because they're both the same price and what they offer in it. And although I feel like the Prada clutch things looks nicer, but honestly, 
either the Prada clutch or the Chanel little makeup bag that comes in this set. Neither will I use them for what they say they are. Like for the Prada, it says it's a clutch. I would never use it as a clutch because I have an actual clutch. And for the Chanel bag, I wouldn't use it as an actual bag either. But I guess it's just like a collector's item. So I was debating between those two because they're so tempting and they look so nice and it's new. Now I'm gonna go in with my Jane Aradell Pure Pressed Powder. This is in the color Radiant. It's a little bit light for me, but I just add bronze on top. And I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 109. Anyways, so it really got me thinking and you know, they're both limited edition sort of makes you have FOMO <laughs> and you know how I do with FOMO I cannot stand it <laughs> anyway so that is really what's been kind of getting to me and make me think and then I really like to use a lot of this product especially on my brown spots here especially I'll be going out in the sun in like the hundred degrees heat here but I feel good that you know I layer many SPF products on my face so it makes me feel a little bit better that I'm going out and be protected anyways getting back to these two sets they've been really enticing me and once again I can't decide but I feel like with all these YouTube Nordstrom sale videos, it really sort of pushes me towards buying the Prada because that's what everybody talks about. But I really have to really think about it for myself if I really need. Honestly, I look at the two sets and all I envision is just having either the Chanel bag or the Prada clutch sort of just sit there as decor in the background. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I did not even do my grande brows. I always forget about this step. I don't know. So I just take the brush that it comes with and just dab in. I'm using this every single day and I am more than halfway through this already. I feel like for this product, it goes by really quickly. I just sort of just outline my brows and just have them brush through and comb through and look a little bit neater. That's all. And I'm seeing a lot of little flyaways, so I'm gonna go in with my Kish hair wax stick. And I just want to like stick them out. Yeah, so I bought some stuff. It's going to come in next week. So hopefully I have a video up. I didn't really buy a lot, <laughs> to be honest, because there's a other couple of things that I, I really want to buy. And it's a big ticketed item. So I'm trying to save for that. But. Uh, all these sales are so enticing. Usually in the summer, I would be traveling, but I literally just submitted my passport application yesterday. So I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to travel because apparently it takes six or eight weeks to get it. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my Tower 28 Lash Curler. Are you guys enticed by any other brand sales out there that kind of gets you thinking and debating or choosing or are you fortunate enough just, you know, buy what you want? I'm going to go in with the bronzer with my Chanel um, Medium Rose Gold Palette and I'm going to use a BK Beauty 108. I've been loving this brush lately because it just seems like it gets into little areas better. 
just tapping off the excess. So I just mix the whole three colors together. You can see, you can see brown, pink, and gold. But I do like mixing it together, even though I'm just specifically using it as a contour, but I kind of really like that the bronzer kind of has a little bit of pink to it as well. I kind of like that. I haven't really been using the bronzer lately. I've been using more of the blush from this colorway more. It's just this really bright and beautiful kind of pink. This pink is so nice. I don't think I have mentioned, but the reason why I have been busy going to the getting passports and social security and my interview at the same time is because I am officially a U.S. citizen. So that's why I've been busy like updating my citizenship status and whatnot. So yeah. But now I'm going to go in with the blush only. There's so many releases and then there are so many, I guess got some more. And because there's constantly new makeup that are released, a lot of products are sort of being pushed to the back of the drawer or the sh shelf or wherever you store your makeup a lot of things are forgotten even though it wasn't even that long maybe like a month ago that these products were like the talk of the town I like new product I like new stuff new makeup I really do being a shopaholic I really do but at the rate of how things are just constantly being old news now, it's kind of alarming to me because I didn't really have time to enjoy a lot of things. And now I'm already looking forward to the new Chanel summer collection, like the blush and the crayons and stuff. So first I'm just going to go in again with just a tiny little bit more. And I have seen some of the new reviews on the Chanel blushes and everything, but a lot of them, they put it on their face, but I barely even could tell the difference between the color and they are saying, you know, it's nice, they like it and stuff like that. But I was just thinking, I'm like sitting there, look, watching the video myself. I'm like, I can't even see the color. I don't even know what the color actually looks like. So I don't know. I don't know if the color is not as pigmented or because when I put on a product, I kind of want it to translate through the camera so you can see the difference. And this, I feel like it's a difference that you can see, you know, and I don't mind having too much makeup on, I guess, because there are some times that when I do makeup look, I still go out with them, whatever. So that is all for my palette. I'm just going to go in with my BK Beauty 206 brush with this Chanel Warm palette. I'm just using this color to have this, have my lids be a base and all cleared out and even out. Because my lid is already creasing. Tomorrow I have a birthday lunch to go to. So I'm also just putting this makeup on just to see if I like to have this look tomorrow as well. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to go underneath just to, again, even things out underneath there. This color is really basically my skin, but better. And then I'm going in with the BK Beauty 211 brush. This is a defined crease brush, I think, but I just use a little bit of this peachy kind of color, just a little bit of it. 
just to give me a wash of color, but not, nothing too much, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, and then again, whatever's left, I'm just taking it underneath as well. And I'm gonna go with the same brush. I'm gonna go in with the brown there. And I'm putting it outside here. This is usually very quick, clearly, if I don't talk and be distracted about shopping. It's quite simple. I just put it on, I'm gonna go in some more. Because apparently I blend, I have a tendency to blend too much. And I'm putting it underneath here as well. Again, going in with my brown. Blending it out. And then underneath my eyes. So something for the day, but I don't want to look like I put too much effort into this makeup look. I'm going to go in some more for the outer V here. Cause anyways, I was saying that I don't think that I'm going out anywhere really, because I plan on going grocery and I want to go to the gym to run. I want to go to the gym on the treadmill for half hour and then maybe the pool for a little bit and then I am making meatballs and spaghetti I'm gonna go in with this sparkly shade here and I'm just putting it just for a little bit of shine here right here on the top you can already see the difference between that and this. I'm gonna go in some more. I have been ordering way too much meatballs and spaghetti from this Greek place. I mean, it's good, but it does get expensive, right? Anyways, whatever is left, again, I'm just blending underneath. Yeah, I, I just found this new Greek place pretty relatively close to where I live. And I love Greek food. Like that is my number one food. If I can only have one kind of type of food to eat for the rest of my life, that would be Greek. I just can never get bored of Greek. Anyways, so yeah, that is all that I do. You know what? We never really did highlighter. So I'm going to go with my Jellyfish palette and my BK Beauty 112 brush. I am going to get the highlighter from this palette. Like this is the one and only color that I use so much of because I just love the highlighting part of it. It's this white highlighter and I've been loving it since I have discovered it that I love it, so I've been, that's all I've been really using. I love it. And this brush is just fantastic. It just fits me so well. I use a lot of highlighter. <laughs> the glow, the glow. You know, you know what, I'm going to add a little bit of brown color to my brows. So I'm going back with my warm palette and the Sonia G Smudger 2 brush, this very thin one. This is like a replacement for a brow brush for me. And I just, I just want to add a little bit of color to my brows. And then I'm going to go on 
this side. And now I'm gonna go and apply my Thrive mascara and my eyeliner and I'll be right back. So I am back with eyeliners and mascara and I feel like I want a little bit more of a pop on my cheeks. I'm gonna go in a little bit more with the blush i just feel like it will balance it out so i'm just gonna get just a tiny bit more just a tiny bit and i want a tiny little bit of blush to be on my nose really i just feel like it's missing a bridge <laughs> yeah all we have left is Lips. And I've been loving my Tower 28 multi liners so, so much. I don't know, perhaps it's the Hollywood that's getting to me, but I kind of feel like I want a little bit more fuller lips, or maybe because I'm old. <laughs> Who knows? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a darker shade, and then I'm also going to line up as well with a lighter shade just to blend it out. This one is the color Draw Me, so it's a bit darker. That would give me the the shadow and the definition. Now I'm going to go in with the color Work of Art, which is a lighter color. Overdraw it a little bit. To give me the full lips looking. I go in with a darker color right where my lips is. And then I go with the lighter color on the outside to make it blend and look more natural. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Dillard's. I feel like I should go to Dillard's to see what they have. Actually, I just found out that my local Dillard's which is maybe 10, 15 minutes away from me, actually carry Chanel. I literally just discovered that like last weekend. So I'm gonna go in and see if they have the new Chanel collection instead of waiting online because online, I don't think it's gonna come out until like next week. These crayon are so easy to use and they're creamy. And I have been loving these two lip liners lately. I don't really know why, but I'm really into bigger lips. <laughs> Maybe because, again, I, I feel like bigger lips are a more youthful kind of look. So this is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. And this is in the color 6 a.m. Love it. And this is what this color looks like. It looks like it's pretty dark. Actually, it looks pretty complimentary to my shirt. But is this like burgundy brown neutral kind of look? But it comes out with a little bit of red on it. Mm. And even though these are matte, but they're such a creamy matte. So that's what they would look like normally, but I'm going to go in with the 722 gloss. This one it has a little bit of brown color. Actually, it's very much the same. Mm. So beautiful. And that is the look today, sort of like the very 
very trendy ombre kind like it looks dark but then you can still see a little bit of color sabrina carpenter is such an inspiration to me i watch and listen to her song way too much that now i'm kind of really like and like, i always look at her makeup and i always look at her lips combo and i feel like it's darker on top and then it's lighter you can see a little bit of color on the bottom which very much sort of gets me feeling inspired i'm gonna go in with draw me the darker color again and add a little bit of darker color on my lips I just want to see what it looks like. Am I having the urge to get lip fillers? Mm. Anyways, the last product is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. It's supposed to hydrate and glow. I have not used this, but I thought, why not try it? I've seen some video of this. It gives you a very like glossy kind of look. So right now, this is usually what I would just go. But, you know, I get that natural shine where it's supposed to shine and that natural matte where it's supposed to matte. But I thought, why not use this first time together and see how that goes. It doesn't have a scent or anything, but I do feel a little bit of a, re of a refreshing kind of feeling. Like if I just spray cucumber water on my face, that kind of hydrating kind of feeling i feel like it gave a little bit more shine yes to my whole face as a whole before i spray it i felt like it was a little bit you know more matted where i use the powder foundation but now that i have used it it feels like my whole face is very glowy so yeah this is a, usually the easy go-to kind of look for me that I do every day in the summertime. Or when I don't feel like I want to wear color, but I want to be defined. This is usually what I will wear. So let me know if you've enjoyed this video or this look. And until the next video, bye everyone.